Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Banana Boat Summer Color Self-Tanning Lotion. I really wanted to do a video reviewing a really inexpensive self-tanning lotion. A lot of the lotions that I have seen reviewed recently have been either pretty pricey or they have been kind of hard to get your hands on like you had to order them or something like that. But this lotion you can get at Walmart or your local drugstore and it is under $10. I will leave the price. Here. <laughs> so in this video you'll see the application process, you'll see like the directions and tips and that kind of thing and also I'm going to show you a picture of where I wore it to an event recently and I will also give you my review at the end of the video. I want to keep this video really short so let's get right into it. Okay guys so first here is a before and I don't know why I'm showing you my back because I didn't even tan my back but that's before and that is the after. A little bit darker and I'm trying to show you my legs and failing. I am stupid. <laughs> okay, so there is a close-up of the lotion and very first thing that you want to do is make sure that you shake it up really really well and I just applied like a dime-ish size amount and I am rubbing the crap out of it. I'm working in sections. Honestly, I should have worked in smaller sections than this. Like so maybe do your forearm first then your upper arm and that would probably work out better but you know whatever so here I'm doing the whole thing and I just used just that dime size for the whole arm and I'm just rubbing it in very quickly and I wanted to use my hands for this because I know that there's mitts and there's different techniques out there you can do but I really wanted to see if it would get streaky or not so your hand for sure would be the test of that and so here I am doing the other arm and I'm just doing exactly the same thing and I'm rubbing it so quickly like my life depends on it what you need to do and like I say later on in the video just go super quickly over your elbows and areas like that so now I'm just putting down the straps of my tank top and doing like my chest area and I didn't do my stomach or anything like that I just wanted to do this for the sake of the video so I'm making sure that I get my neck and I'm rubbing it in really well I didn't do my back because my back is already super tan it's kind of weird but it's really tan so I'm just making my whole body match for once and so I'm just rubbing that in really really well and then I'm gonna move on to my legs and I am doing the same exact thing that I did for the top just working in smaller sections see here I did like my calf area first and rubbed it in really well and on over top of my knee I just did whatever was left over on my hands um, on the back of the bottle it says to make sure that you are really careful around like your joint areas because those areas can tend to look really dark for some reason I'm not sure why but I definitely you know made sure I applied that rule um, if for some reason you go crazy and get a lot on your joint areas and they look really dark just take a wet washcloth and just wipe it off no big deal And for my face, I actually mixed some of my old face cream with a little drop of the tanner and I am just applying it all over my face and I am rubbing it in so well. And I like to mix it with other lotion just to kind of dilute it a little bit because I didn't want my face to be like crazy dark or anything. Um, so I do this a couple of times a week, probably like two times a week uh, just to like keep up with it. It didn't really tan me that much, which is totally fine. Um, you know, you just like wash your face really well every night, so your tan will disappear more quickly. That's why I do it a couple times a week. So, see you in two hours. Okay, two hours later, this is the end result. The same clip I showed you earlier because I'm lazy. You know how it is. But yeah, so it's a little bit darker, more bronzy. And here's a picture of the bridal shower that I went to the first time that I used it. Okay guys, so now for the review portion of the video. First, I'm going to review the smell. Oh, I got it on my nose. I have another very inexpensive tanning lotion that I really like, but the only thing is the smell kind of like lingers on me throughout the day. It doesn't like go away whenever it dries. And this one I thought did. And then whenever I filmed this video yesterday, I realized that I could still smell it on me the next day, but it is not as bad as the smell as the other one. So I still choose this one over the other one, but the smell applying it is very pleasant. 
Um, it does have a tiny bit of smell that stays behind after. It's not like a bad smell, it's just like you know what it is, like no one else is going to be like... So my tip for this product is to do it in sections. You really want to work very quickly, as you saw in the video, I'm like super speed. Um, blending it in and I find that the quicker you blend it in the less likely of having streaks So if you take your time blending it it will start to dry and you might get streaks And another thing is to be very careful around your elbows anywhere that creases like right here on your hand I had a little tiny bit of like area there You can't really see it now, but um, there and then like your elbows your knees uh, the back of your like Achilles tendon all areas like that just go over it very like one time really quickly and then later on after it develops check it out and see if it's too dark and if it is just take a wet washcloth and just scrub that area and it will be fine so this product does take about two hours to fully develop but I do notice it starting to develop the second that you put it on your skin so that's why I say to like work really quickly um, it definitely does give you motivation to work quickly whenever you see it like on your skin you're like oh crap you're like Ch -ch 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 -ch. the longevity of this is not that long you will look tanner than you started for the next week or so but it's best day is its first day so if you have an event and you just need like one day to look really nice and tan this is perfect for you after the first day it will start to look a little bit less good I don't even know how to explain it you're not gonna like develop streaks as it wears off or anything like that this does have a really nice like fade out I will say that and that is a really nice thing because I've seen some people spray tans whenever they start to come off and it's like splotchy and like ugh. this didn't personally make me look that orange but if you are extremely extremely pale this might make you look a little bit orange so definitely like test it out like on your leg or something like that um, before you actually put it all over your body. So overall, I'm going to give this product a 7 out of 10. Affordability, color, longevity, smell, all of that goes into consideration. And for the price, this definitely is a really good option. So yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you found this video somewhat useful. At least you know what to buy, what not to buy, whatever. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, give it a thumbs up and comment down below so a ho knows. And I'm going to leave all my social media handles down below if you guys are interested in following me on anything like that. It's full free. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!